Okay, I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is the TIG torch off of my Arc Captain. Um, it's the TIG 205 Pro. It just came out in, I believe, sometime in September of uh, 2024. Arc Captain. Uh, While well, they sell the complete kit ready to weld like this with the ceramic gas, uh, gas cup, um, you can buy accessory kits off of the Arc Captain website or Amazon. And this is uh, a kit with all different size gas nozzles, uh, different size collets for your TIG uh, tungsten. You also can upgrade your torch. So this is the, the standard Arc Captain WP-17 torch. Now with the WP-17 torch you can buy the TIG welding torch accessory kit that contains the Pyrex glass and the nozzles and O-rings everything that goes along with that. So this this is the kit. Let me pull this up so you can see here. Alright so this is everything that you get. Um, each one of these is for a different size tungsten. The Pyrex glass are universal to them. The, any one of these are identical and they'll all work on, eight, on these. You have your high temp O-rings up here. Um, you have your long, your medium, and your stubby end cap for tightening down on your, on your collet. Um, so I'm going to show you taking the standard uh, you start either end, it doesn't matter if you loosen this or this, but uh, let's, let's go this way. Okay, we're going to take our ceramic off and we're going to loosen our nut, tungsten holder. We'll set that aside for a minute. Okay, we're going to take our tungsten out, set it over here. We're going to unthread this. And the long collet. You see these long collets? These long collets go with this setup. Okay, so we're going to put these over here. We don't need them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and I'm using one sixteenth. And you can see they're they're stamped. I'm not sure if you could make that out or not, but that's the one sixteenth for the Pyrex glass. You also are going to use the shorter collet now compared to the standard collet let me get this back out here okay so this is the standard collet for when you're using the ceramic and the shorter collet is for when you're going over to the pyrex glass so again we'll put that over there we'll take this we'll drop that right there for a moment and we're going to stay long because I, I haven't cut that down, I haven't needed to yet. Now, you need O-rings, so you're gonna take two O-rings out of here, we'll pull, pull it out for a second, go over the small end, and you're just gonna roll this thing down on into this groove right here. So you see that, you're gonna take this, and you're gonna roll it right over that, and right into there. Then we're gonna take a second one, and we're going to get it back there also. Okay, so now we got our double O-rings, right? So now we're going to take and drop our collet in. So the advantage of these, by the way, buying this kit, which is an inexpensive kit available, like I said, Amazon or our Captain website. So instead of your, instead of your gas coming sideways out the holes and coming out with turbulence and you know uh, non-smooth, non-controlled, non-laminar flow out of this gas port. Instead of that, your gas is going to come in and diffuse out of this screen. You see that, that screen in there? So the gas is going to diffuse and slide down the Pyrex glass nice and smooth. So we're going to thread this in here now. Remember our collet is in there. You need to have the collet. That's what locks onto your material. Now you don't have to thread this all the way down. Now you'll see, okay, you have the, the, all the threads. Okay, what you do, put this in, start the threads. You see your O-rings? 
go down to your o-rings are about flush with the end of the white cap ring there that's fine because there's enough thread in here now that we're going to bump into it when we bump into it that's when we tighten it okay so right here let's see here did i make it not quite so i got to loosen this a little bit bring this back to there there now can you see I, I have a gap between the torch head and the plastic nut here right so when i tighten that i'm bottoming out into this this is now tight if i had my tungsten in there the tungsten wouldn't move to pull the tungsten all you gotta do is crank that loose i'll put my tungsten in approximately where it's going to go now when i tighten the nut everything's tight and you cannot get the tungsten out so now your pyrex glass this is the last part take your pyrex glass give it a little twist as you go snug onto your o-rings and now you're ready to tig with your pyrex glass by arc captain it's that easy it takes two minutes to do the swap once you know what you're doing okay it's very easy um, you can adjust your depth if you want to see a bigger gap in here you could loosen this rotate the glass a little bit till it tightens and then now you'll see my gap just got bigger all i'm doing is forcing the stack back this way um, i prefer to have a better bite on the o-rings so i'll loosen that take that a little bit looser and i'll bring this close to the torch head here and then i'll give it a little twist and make sure the glass is fully seated on my o-rings um, and that's it it's all there is to it and as i was messing with it you probably saw it. my tungsten went away let's see if i can shake it back out here there we go shook the tungsten back out you want to have an eighth to a quarter tungsten exposed typically a little bit of it is your preference um, but eighth to a quarter is generally accepted so that's it that's the kit both kits are available, like I said, at Orc Captain's website or on Amazon.com. They're very affordable. They're nice to have spare parts. So go ahead and get them. And, uh, you know, once you get to uh, TIG welding a little bit, maybe you want to go ahead and try this and, and see if that better gas flow and a little bit uh, better visual line of sight on your part. Because now when you're TIG welding, you can see, instead of having everything blocked by the ceramic, now you can see what you're doing better. You get a little bit more visual ability. So go buy the kit and uh, check it out. Hey, do me a favor, um, like and subscribe to my channel if you appreciate my video. Um, thanks, leave a comment. Talk to you guys again.